Hey everyone, coming to you live to show you guys today our vegetable spiralizer from Pamper Chef. So it's one of my favorite tools. Um, it doesn't get used as much in the winter as it does in the spring summer season, but um, I got my Misfit Market box, we got some zucchini, and I figured, you know what, this is a perfect time to show you guys the vegetable spiralizer. I know there's all those little gadgets out there on the market, you kind of kind of use your hands, but this is kind of like the called the big daddy of spiralizers, all right? So I'm gonna show you how this works, but it has three different blades. It's a great way to change up your vegetables in your, um, just your normal dinner routine and try different things. So you're not always stuck with like the same vegetables and the same boring things, right? So lots of fun things you can do with the spiralizer. So first of all, when you get it, you have to kind of put it together, but it's pretty simple. Um, and it has a cover right here that stores the extra blade, right? So the cover right here has an extra blade in it that if you kind of look at it, I don't know if you can see it, but one has like a, like a spaghetti, like really thin like angel hair uh, blade and the other one has like a fettuccine size, so a little thicker. And then it already has one blade inside of here that does like those thick spirals, okay? So I'm gonna show you guys a couple different items. My favorite one is an onion. So we're gonna do an onion, we're gonna do zucchini, all right? And we're gonna do a potato, and we're also gonna do some butternut squash, which is like the tip of the butternut squash, right? So you can actually make noodles out of this. But you can also, um, I've also done uh, cucumbers, spiralized cucumber salad, I've done apples. So you can have some fun with this. And I know the stores sell spiralized zucchini these days, right? But they cost like four times as much as if you just do it yourself. And it's a fun activity for your kids because as long as they're not touching the blade, they can't really cut themselves, all right? So um, I'll show you first how to insert the blade so um, you can use the this attachment, right? So the way to do it, I'm like, what did I just do? <laughs> the way to do it is to put the cover on, all right? So you put the cover on, the cover kind of puts everything in place and it snaps. And then all you do is right here, it's got like a little, little hole, all right? Um, and I will tell you, I don't think I've ever used the really thin attachment. Actually, no, I have used it once. So the really thin one, I've used it once for sweet potatoes. There's like a dish and then I chopped it up and you made like a sweet potato rice. So I have used it, but that's, I think the only time. I typically go with the fettuccine size, so a little thicker. So all you do is just put your blade in here, okay? So you slide your blade in here while the cap is on and then you tighten the screw so it holds the, the blade in place, right? Okay, so I'll show you a couple different things. Um, so let's use, uh, let's do typical zucchini noodles, right? So you wanna make sure that your vegetable is nice and firm. You don't want them to be like overly ripe, right? So um, you wanna definitely make sure they're nice and firm and not like mushy, right? So tell me, first of all, I would love to hear from you guys which vegetable would you see, you know, could you see yourself spiralizing into your dinner plans or into your like routine? So, all right, so all you do, it's got a little like spike right here and then it has little spikes up here at the top as well. You just stick it on here, press down and gravity helps pull it down so you don't really have to do a lot. And right here is where it's gonna come out of. So hopefully you guys can see it. And you're gonna see these like zucchini noodles come right out. Okay, so very, very simple, come right out. Sometimes they kind of stick together, it depends again how firm or how soft your veggies are. And you have these awesome, awesome spirals, right? So here we have our zucchini. So I showed you that. And what also happens, it leaves like a little disc like that. So just make sure you take it out so you can just saute them and chop it up and add it to it. So you see the spirals, what do you guys think? Pretty fun, huh? All right, so we got those. What else are we gonna use? So I, got, I showed you the zucchini. Oh, we can do butternut squash, so you can see how you can actually make butternut squash noodles. You can boil these. And butternut squash or sweet potatoes are a little harder, so you think you have to like press really hard, but I'm not sitting here going like this. It's actually very, very simple to do this. Here we go, got some butternut squash. By the way, if you need a good peeler for butternut squash, our vegetable peelers, our serrated ones, are super, super sharp. You actually have to be careful. <laughs> almost, peel, almost peeled my finger once, right? Um, but it works magic on butternut squash. It's great for peaches. It's like, it's like an amazing peeler. It's just, I don't know. That's all I gotta say. <laughs> it peels everything. 
All right, so here we go. We got some butternut squash. You can saute this. You can do butternut squash a little sweet with some cinnamon um, and saute it on your pan, or you can also boil these and make like little noodles out of it. Okay, so we got zucchini, we got butternut squash. So I'll take the blade out. So in order to take the blade out, you just unscrew the screw that you have right here. And by the way, this all goes comes apart and goes in the dishwasher. I'll even show you how it comes apart. How's that? All right, so blade out. Oh, I got, there's a piece. <laughs> there's the butternut squash bonus piece, right? And it doesn't leave a lot of um, a lot of extra, so which is nice. All right, so blade comes out. You just slide it out, and what's really cool is it's got a little hole, so it goes at the top of your dishwasher, and you don't you don't end up losing it. So pretty awesome. All right, you ready? See my two favorites: potatoes. Okay, you can peel them. You can do sweet potatoes. Same thing. But now I took the blade out, that extra insert blade. So now it's going to do really thick spirals. All right, let's make sure you guys can see that here. Rip. Oh, here we go. And maybe I'll show you this side so you can actually see how it's working the potato, and then I'll turn it around. So very, very simple. Kids could do that. Husband approved. <laughs> All right, and then you see for the potatoes, you now have these like thicker spirals. And depending on how wide your potato is, so this one was a very not so big one, they will connect, right? If not, they will fall apart. So you could totally put those in your air fryer, right? By the way, if you guys don't know, I'm still waiting on my countertops. <laughs> Thanks, COVID. Um, that's why my kitchen looks the way it is. But all good. All right. And then, are you ready for the favorite? You like spiraling a zucchini is like amazing. You get all these strings. You can make onion straws. You can deep fry them. Super, super cool. Just a plain old onion. You might cry, you might not. <laughs> All right, so watch how this comes out. Super great for bourbonite um, on a steak. Like I said, deep fry them, saute them with peppers. Oh, pepper. Oh, I don't have a pepper. But peppers are great too. You cut the top off, and peppers are awesome. All right, here you go. You got your onion straws. Look at that. Ah. <laughs> right? So you can cut these out. Hopefully, I won't cry. Um, but yeah, just wanted to come on and show you guys our spiralizer. It's just a fun, fabulous tool to have in your in your kitchen. If you have any questions, drop them below and um, let me know what vegetables would you use this for? What could you see yourself using this bad boy for? All right. Thanks for watching.